Hey guys, John here from Sonic Drive Studio. I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna find out if I can make the orange TH30 do metal. Now I've had the idea for this series for quite a while and I think it will be a lot of fun. So if you guys enjoy this sort of content, definitely let me know. The idea is basically to check out an amplifier in its pure form and then see if we can make it more metal. Seems cool, right? So you might think, isn't the Orange TH30 capable of metal by default? Well, kinda, but not really if your definition of metal is modern, tight, aggressive, ferocious, in your face. It's a cool amplifier, don't get me wrong, but it's kind of loose, fuzzy, and sort of muddy sounding, to be honest. Which is great for some genres like stoner, doom, and perhaps more classic rock with low gain settings. And the clean channel is great as well. So let's just start by taking a listen to how this amplifier sounds in its pure form. So just the amplifier into a suitable cab, basically. I'm using my ESP LTD Phoenix Arctic Metal, in which I've put a Seymour Duncan distortion pickup. And it's a really cool guitar, great for metal. It's tuned to drop C. It's supposed to be really white, but it's sort of turning yellow. I'm not sure if you guys can see that on camera, but anyway, it looks cool. It's a great playing guitar, it sounds great too, so yeah. Great for this video and it will do the job just fine. And the guitar is going straight into the front of the amplifier and the amp is going into my Red 7 load and then into an Ohnhammer IR from the 412 ORNG Essentials. So that's based on a 4x12 orange cabinet with V30s and I'm using the high gain mic mix. So yeah, that's basically the pure sound of this guitar going into the amplifier and into an orange cabinet. Let's check it out. Okay, okay, that doesn't sound bad, it doesn't sound horrible, and if you've only heard the amplifier like this, you might even think, wow, that sounds pretty awesome, and that's fine. However, I think that I can make this amplifier sound much, much more metal. So let's go ahead and try that right now. So I want a more tight, a more ferocious, and a more cutting sound, basically, and there are two things that I'm gonna do to achieve that tone with this amplifier. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is a very obvious one, I'm gonna put a boost pedal up front. And my pedal of choice for this video is the Guptac Mad Honker. This pedal is absolutely amazing and it has been making more appearances on the channel lately because it's just such a versatile pedal. It's basically a couple of tube screamers, a 1433, a grind and a TC Electronics Pre in one. You can use them individually, so both the sides, you can put them in series as well as in parallel. So it's a very flexible pedal and you can get a lot of boost and overdrive tones out of this thing. So this thing can basically do it all, if you know what I mean. I like the right side, so the side that's based on the TC Electronic Integrated Pre for extended range guitars, for eight strings and stuff like that. But now I'm gonna go for the left side, which is more of the traditional side, so the Tube Screamer side, because it will work quite nicely with this guitar and this amplifier, I think. And I'm using quite popular settings for metal, so the volume is at around one or two o'clock, the drive is set to zero, and the tone has been maxed for maximum clarity and tightness. 
Now this by itself will already drastically change the tone and response of the amplifier, but I'm not gonna stop there. I also want to change the cabinet tone to make it sound even more metal. Now even with just the pedal, it already will sound much more metal, but I think that if we choose a different cabinet, we can make it sound even more metal. So I want to choose a cabinet that's better suited for heavier styles by default, and I'm going to use the Ohnhammer Low Tuned Essentials for that because that's a great IR pack for heavy metal and heavy tones in general. And my mic mix of choice this time will be the Chunk Mix. So yeah, my load box and IR setup makes these sort of changes very easy. So that's one thing that I love about the load box IR setup. It's just very flexible and it's really easy to get drastically different tones with a couple of clicks. Love it. So just as with the pure tone, no additional post-processing will be applied aside from a low cut at around 80 Hertz or so, just to remove that low end, that sub low end content. Let's take a quick listen to how this tone sounds with all the changes. Here we go. Whoa, much better, right? Crazy how much of a difference the pedal and the different cabinet made. Really cool. Now, if you hear them side by side, the difference will be much, much clearer. So let's do that right now with an A-B comparison. Check it out. Awesome. So I don't know about you, but I think that the difference is huge. They basically sound like two completely different amplifiers and all that I changed was put the pedal up front and change the cabinet. But of course, as you get here, those things can have a huge impact on your tone. So they are very powerful shaping tools that should not be underestimated, okay? So can the Orange TH30 do metal? Well, I think most definitely yes. If you put a boost pedal up front, for those fast, aggressive, and tight tones, and if you use a suitable cabinet to make this amplifier roar. 
that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see more videos in this series and which amplifiers I should feature. And also, if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like and subscribe down below as that really helps the channel out. I'd hugely appreciate that. And you can also follow Sonic Drive Studio on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you guys so much, and I hope to see you soon. Cheers.